Here's the biggest thing that's changed about politics in like the last 20 or 25 years. And from the debate last night, this is the perfect example. I can remember a time when if a candidate admitted to smoking weed, it was like it would cripple a campaign. It could be like a death knell for the candidate because, you know, you couldn't smoke pot. But, but, you know, everybody had smoked pot. You know, last night we asked uh, Gentilly and Donovan, like, have you ever smoked pot? And it's like, yeah, I smoked pot. And Gentilly's like, yeah, I smoked pot. So I don't even know if it's really even a valid question anymore about, because now it's almost like you get left out of the building if you didn't smoke pot. The yes, no. Have you ever smoked marijuana, Mr. Recchia? Yes. Mr. Grimm? No. Mr. Grimm. Hey, hey. I mean, I think that there is a real question over somebody like on the public dime, you know, whether they're spending their days blazing away or not. But, I mean, I don't think if he told you from, you know, oh yeah, 10 years ago, I used to smoke weed all the time. I don't think that's something that's necessarily going to end somebody's political, you know, career anymore. Actually, Gentilly came out first and we asked him about a bunch of things. But when Donovan came out, one of the first questions that got asked was, or one of the questions that got asked was, they wanted like kind of chapter and verse on, you know, when did you smoke and how long ago? You said you'd uh, smoke marijuana. Can you tell us when and how much? Yeah, in the late 70s when I was in college and not very much. When was the last time? In 1978, probably before 1978. I graduated college in 1978. I, do I think it's a political gotcha? Yes, I do. Do I think it's valid? No, I don't. I think it's just another part of this whole you know, sort of tit-for-tat thing that goes on. What can we get him on? What can we get her on? You know, you're, suppo you're supposed to be, you know, you know, the party of morality, and meanwhile you smoke a little weed. And, I, and so, I don't, you know, frankly, I'm not even sure that, you know, people even realize that they're doing it sometimes. Basically, the, you know, the bottom line with the political campaign is that the campaign is not about this. The campaign on Staten Island is about roads. It's about infrastructure. It's about Hurricane Sandy. It's about, you know, how we're going to sort of get the representation that we want in Washington after, you know, not having it for so long. So it's an amusing question, but you know what? It's a sideshow. Thanks so much for watching and have a great evening.